the way our brain functions and the way we think is changing with every generation. Oh, move! Move your Jack character! Move, run, run, run! Oh! Oh! We are constantly evolving. It's just, it's not flashy. It's not like, hey, my head's got twice as big. Yeah, okay, yeah. It's not like that. You have your, your, a really interesting background because you studied the evolution of man on this planet, but you also studied climate. I started off uh, doing physical geography at university, went on to do marine geology, and started off looking at past climates. This is what I want to see, because it's like, that's a clan. And then I got a family, and a dear, dear friend of mine uh, said to me, did I want to work in Africa? Shorter periods of time, I was only going to be on field work for two weeks at a time, and then we started our whole African project about 20 years ago. So who are you, Abby? I'm the daughter of Mark Maslin. <laughs> but maybe you can try to help her out because you played a little bit. But don't listen to anything he says because he's not really good. <laughs> <laughs> and what would be the biggest, you think, trigger for evolution? It's, it is all about the change of the environment and the stress. At the beginning of your game, you have this beautiful rainforest. And that's what would have been in Africa about 10 million years ago. It was flat, lots of forest, lots of uh, diversity. Whoa. Oh. Yeah, you went a bit, uh, let's jump. <laughs> <laughs> and then what happens is that there was a hot spot, rises up very slowly. And the way I explain it, it's a bit like making an apple pie. So the apple sauce, that's the magma. You then put the beautiful sort of uh, crust over the top. And I'm a bad cook, so you leave it in too long, it rises up beautifully, and then it cracks. And it forms one big crack, all the apple sauce bubbles out. That's actually the African Rift Valley. So the whole of the Rift Valley fills up with water, and then they disappear. And it's that stress of suddenly having a wet environment, so like this, and then suddenly it's all been taken away. And the most important thing I think for brain expansion is when the lakes disappear, they don't go straight away. They, they, they die, they expand, they die, expand. And it's about 2,000 years before they actually finally go. Look around. Oh, that's your dead uh, mother. <laughs> <laughs> the most important thing about being human is our brain is incredibly flexible. I go in the brain and I can upgrade my character there. This is everything that I've done prior to that moment. Right. And so before you change generation, the more babies, the more uh, knowledge you can actually lock through a generation and, yeah. and, then, and pass it on. Yeah. Oh, that is so clever. So in our childhood, most of the neurons aren't connected and it's the environment and it is the stimulation and the society we get born into that locks in all the neurons and takes 14 to 15 years before we can start to function in society. Now you have to let go at the right time. Oh, now you have, you're, you're bonding with that character. Let go. Yeah. Now the interesting thing is because our progress is going so quickly, our children are already in a completely different world and environment to us. It's almost like each generation is a completely different species. Yeah. I mean, this is why I, this is my excuse for not understanding my children. They're just a different species. Yeah. They're, they're a bunch of teenagers, I don't understand them. <laughs> The science in it is brilliant. The way that they actually think about it, the way they've actually read our work and actually then said, well, hang on, what do they really mean? Evolution is like this sort of like chaotic, random, you have to find things, you have to be curious and all of this. And that, he's encapsulated, I think, better human evolution than any of the science texts that I've read. And where you find when you're in Africa? 
Um, no, not really. I was more scared <laughs> playing the game when they would jump out at you than being in Africa. It's quite scary.